Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. It's been a wild month, wouldn't you say? Over the past month, we've seen all sorts of things uh, coming down the pipeline. If you've been into prepping and preparedness for the past several years, like I have, you know, you might have noticed that all sorts of things that people like myself that have been uh, talking about for the past years, you know, get ready for this, get ready for that, this could happen, that could happen. There's a lot of things like that happening right now between cyber attacks, uh, commodity prices on things going up, Canadian geese flying over my head, you know, shortages, cyber hacks, the potential for war between nation states, it just goes on and on. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, and I've, I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, my colleagues here, I would call them my colleagues here on YouTube, uh, other people who host uh, prepping and preparedness channels, uh, releasing a lot of material lately about, like, you know, get ready for this, get ready for that, look at this thing happening, look at that thing happening. A lot of you guys who maybe have been watching my channel have been noticing, perhaps, that I've been kind of uh, mute on the topic, and, you know, why is that? Uh, well, there's a couple of reasons. One is that I've been working very intently to get ready to, uh, for releasing the Alien Invasion series for you guys. Well, that's a whole other thing. I mean, the, the Pentagon's releasing all this information on, you know, UFOs. We don't even know what they are either. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, so anyway, I've been preparing uh, my Alien Invasion series. If you're not familiar with what that is, uh, it's a a fictional series which kind of has a mock alien invasion but really it's it's about uh, preparedness skills uh, bushcraft skills and things like that you know being demonstrated in kind of an entertaining fictional environment i'll play a trailer at the end of this video if you're uh, curious about what that is uh, a lot of people enjoy it as kind of a, a fun fictional way of getting into prepping and preparedness uh, anyway i've been working really hard to get season two ready for you guys uh, so there's that but that's not really the big reason why i haven't really um you know, been re really vocal on what's been going on. And uh, it's not because it's not on my mind. Uh, the reason is because I'm a prepper and this is kind of the whole reason that we prep. So that when we come uh, to times like this, where, you know, there's all this stuff uh, coming up and there are all these challenges, uh, you know, on the road in front of you and sometimes right in your face, the reason that you become a prepper is so that this stuff really isn't that big of a deal. And that's kind of the way that it's been for me. I know that there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now, but it hasn't really impacted me personally uh, because I've been into prepping and preparedness. Uh, you, know, I, you know, when food prices have been going up, it's not really a big deal because I can still shop the sales and I have a massive pantry. Uh, you know, when lumber prices go up, you know, I was kind of fortunate that we built our house just before that. Uh, but, you know, you always have a workaround for that. Um, uh, and it, it kind of just goes through my whole life. And um, I think that's one of the reasons that I just really have not been that vocal is because I've been prepping, I've been preparing for a while. And the things that are happening right now that are turning a lot of people's worlds upside down are not really hitting me that hard. And I wanted to share that with you guys uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is like to explain why I haven't really been talking about this that much. Uh, it, it just, it really has not been something that's impacted me very much, at least not yet. Um, and the other is kind of an advertisement to you guys. You know, if you are thinking about getting into prepping and getting into preparedness, it's not something that you do at the last minute, you know, at the 11th hour when, you know, it's really imminent that something is coming down the road. If you're doing it, if you're getting into prepping and preparedness now, good, good on you. Better to do it today than tomorrow. Better to do it this week than you know several weeks from now. Um, but uh, you know, waiting until the writing is on the wall and you know the car is about to go off the cliff, uh, you know that's not the ideal time to do it. Now, you know, what of what value is that information to you now? <laughs> you know, because things are starting to go crazy. Well, you know, uh, things are starting to go crazy now. Uh, to some degree, but you know if you look out to the future of you know what things could be like in the future You know we may be looking back to the good old days of like oh, I remember how when things used to be normal and things used to be so easy back in 20 and 2021 uh, You know things have been challenging, uh, you know th this past year or so, uh, you know the past month uh, has been perhaps even more challenging for people but if you are, you know, aware of the challenges and the potential dangers that lie ahead of us, you know, you'll be aware that the way things are right now are not nearly as bad as they could get. You know, cherish the moments that we have like right now. The fact that you have electricity running into your home right now, you have internet connection running into your home so you can watch this video. Those aren't things that are guaranteed. I know many of us have, you know, grown up and just become accustomed to those things always being there. But so much of what is available in our life uh, is stuff that, you know, someday could be taken away from us. And how do you get prepared for that ahead of time without waiting until the last minute? Because for things like cyber attacks uh, and 
and so many other uh, sorts of circumstances in the world, there isn't that kind of a slow lead up. You know, it's the sort of situation where things are normal on one day and then the next day they're chaos. And it's not always like that. In fact, I've been, I've advocated on my channel, uh, you know, many times that, um, collapse, the collapse of a society isn't something where one day everything's fine and then the next day everything's in chaos. I remember the day that it happened. The lights in the sky, the sirens, the moment everything changed. One day you're at the top of the world getting a lap dance from a cartoon stripper. The next, you're eating ashes out of the rib cage of your best friend's burned out corpse. Just to stay alive. Every day now is a struggle, and it all changed in that one instant. It's a slow degrading process where, you know, first, you know, things like your infrastructure starts to fail. Like maybe the, like all the bridges and highways in your area start getting rated, uh, you know, at D level. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> maybe some of your public institutions, uh, you know, people start to question them and they, they start uh, having trouble delivering services. Again, does that sound familiar to you? You know, uh, the collapse of societies is something that happens slowly over time, and you never know that you're in the middle of a collapse of society. Uh, you know, the people in, uh, you know, 476, was it four? I forget, when, when the Western Roman Empire uh, collapsed finally. Uh, you know, people that were there at that time didn't say, you know, you know, I just, you know, yesterday was, you know, the classical period and now welcome today to the dark ages. You know, it's not that kind of a, a delineation, but there are some things that, you know, can, uh, you know, trip uh, uh, your, your circumstance from being relatively normal to, you know, chaos. And a lot of those things come down to, you know, our, inter our electronic interconnectivity with each other. Uh, you know, we depend on that in a great way. And, uh, you know, if something like that gets taken away from us, we can, we can go from, you know, seeming like things are like, ah, uh, you know, the, the price of bologna was so high, or, you know, uh, you know the, the price of a two by four uh, is like four times what it used to be. We can go from that to, you know, something that would be so much worse than that, that we would, you know, be thinking back to, you know, the days today about like, ah, uh, remember when bologna was like really expensive, but you could, to you could totally afford it and you, it was actually available at the store and you didn't have to, you know, hire an armed guard service to get to the grocery store and everything. You know, cherish the moments we have now and use this time to get ready for things. Um, I, I mentioned at the end of this video, I was going to share with you, uh, you know, what I've been doing in terms of that alien invasion series. That's a way that you can, you know, if you're not familiar with uh, emergency preparedness, it's in, in especially if you like sci-fi, it's a way that you can, you know, kind of get wrapped up in some different emergency preparedness lessons. Season one is already available. Here's a link if you want to check out season one. It is a, you know, if you watch it in its entirety, there's a six hour version of it uh, where it's just the entire season all strung out. I also have a two and a half hour version. I'm going to put links links to all these down below. Uh, season two is about to come out. It's actually already out and available to people who support this channel on Patreon. Uh, it is going to be uh, being released in June. And I think I mentioned this right now. Um, I am going to put out the opportunity to release it early if you guys can help me with something.
go. It's already in the pipeline. It is set to be released in June, but I've got another channel on YouTube. I've had a little bit of trouble, uh, you know, getting to the number of subs that it takes to be able to play ads on it, to, you know, kind of use it to help subsidize all of this. I've also had trouble with uh, getting the proper number of play hours. You need to have people watch 4,000 hours of your content uh, over the uh, one year period, and you need to have a thousand subs. At the moment, I have 500 plus subs and only about 2,500, uh, you know, watch hours uh, for the for the past year. The reason for that is because it's kids videos. It's educational kids videos. I homeschool my boy and what, when we were doing early homeschooling, learning alphabets and things, uh, you know, my boy would be interested in something like fire trucks and I would be interested in having him learn the alphabet. Uh, and uh, that was pretty easy to find an alphabet video that had fire trucks. But as my boy's interests, uh, you know, kind of uh, refine themselves, he would be interested in monster truck fire, uh, fire trucks or monster truck school buses or, you know, aircraft carriers or this or that or, you know, Super Mario or whatever. And uh, it was actually kind of difficult to find alphabet videos. So I decided to make them and make that channel that would uh, offer that to people who like, you know, want to do education from home, homeschooling and all that kind of thing. I essentially made uh, a series of videos. There are 11 thousand of them at this point. I've personally made 11,000 videos on this channel, uh, but it's hard to get a, a lot of subscribers to this channel and it's hard to get a lot of watch hours because e each video is only two minutes long. Uh, and that's the idea. It's just, a, it's a quick alphabet video. A lot of what YouTube tries to do is get kids and adults and everyone sitting in front of the uh, video screen for long periods of time. And they reward that and they penalize you if you're just delivering a quick educational video. Uh, also, they require that people subscribe to your channel. Who on earth is going to subscribe to a channel that releases like, you know, like next week it might be uh, uh, dogs wearing Santa Claus hats riding a sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. So, uh, you know, not a lot of people subscribe to the channel because it's the kind of thing that you search for, use the channel, uh, and it's a very popular channel. It's actually more popular than the channel that you're watching this on, my Praxis Prepper channel. Uh, it's a, a very used channel, but people don't subscribe to it and the videos are so short. So, long story short, if you guys can help me to get to a thousand subs, and if you can get me to uh, where I can get to that 4,000 watch hours, I just need another 1,500 watch hours. If you can get me to that point, as soon as we reach that, I will release the second season of Alien Invasion. Uh, as a thank you to, uh, to help me get that, that channel up and going, because once I get that channel going, it's gonna help me, uh, you know, it, it'll help put food on the table so I can spend extra time doing what I really enjoy, which is doing these preparedness videos for you guys. So, long-winded video, but the, the long and the short of it is, uh, it, the more the closer you get to being ready and prepared for things, the less all this stuff is really going to impact you. Again, you know, YouTube is, and, and our world is just frenetic with all of these messages about this go, this is going wrong, that is going wrong. Out here in the woods with a giant pantry, plenty of firewood stacked up for next year, you don't really notice it that much and that's a pretty good feeling. So, uh, you know, while a, a lot of people get driven into prepping and preparedness based on the fear of being without things, there's a really wonderful and surprise reward for most of you guys uh, you know, once you really get into it, which is just the peace of mind that you don't, you don't really have to re rely on everything in our society working perfectly well all the time, 24-7, 365, for your life to keep going forward. There can be bumps in the road and there always are. We've definitely seen that over the past month and they're not going to hit you personally and you're not going to feel like the world is falling down around you. Out here, the only thing falling down from the sky is occasionally goose poop. And I'm lucky I didn't get hit during this video. So again, if you want to get Alien Invasion Season 2 out that much earlier, down below there's a link to that other channel. It's called Shooting Stars Kids or something like that. Uh, subscribe to it. Watch as many videos as you can. Help me out if we can get to that 4,000 watch hours and we can get to 1,000 subs. I will release Alien Invasion Season 2 as soon as that happens. That's it. Thanks for watching. Keep prepping. Start prepping. Do something. Something's better than nothing. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just doing something is better than doing nothing at all. And good luck over the next year. That's it, and thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.
And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.